So, what's up everybody? Ride with Will here, and I got the DRZ on some single track with some high gearing. Yeah, yeah, we all get it. DRZ 400 can trail ride with no problems and even do some gnarly trails if the rider's ability allows it. But this is a bit of a different video because I want to say, can the DRZ 400 do tight single track with 1538 gearing? Which we all know is extremely high for any bike. The answer is yes, if your clutch hand is made of steel. Looks like we uh, ran into some little issue here. All right, oh shit, this thing does whoops horribly so i'm doing some single track now with the drz so i know it's hard to tell on camera but this single track was extremely tight and not flowy at all it was pretty difficult to go fast on especially on the turns where they actually fluctuate quite a bit in height so to give you an idea if you put your feet down on this single track you will most likely drop the bike since you won't reach on the opposite side turns were pretty sharp and tight and pretty tall as well and it definitely was not a flowy wide turn these whoops are not it doesn't handle these whoops good at all <laughs> i think my klx would be a little better on this stuff but oh shit yeah single track is a whole different animal than uh than double track so can the drz 400 on 1538 gearing do single track you bet it can if you can keep it in the revs, but for the most part, tight single track is really difficult with this gear due to how tired your clutch hand gets. My clutch hand was getting way more tired than my entire body and I must have been on the single track for maybe 10 minutes. So let's take a look at this single track when I did it with my TE250i on my Husqvarna. Oh. Wow, it's already starting off like that, holy shit. So this is where I think the DRZ400 on 1538 gearing will do better since it does not have, you know, as much whoops and tight tall turns. Now this single track is really tough and going for a straight climb up, trust me, crack camera does not do justice and this was a black diamond single track. But I believe the 1538 DRZ will be better off here if riders skill levels allow it. <laughs> yeah, I did struggle here, but that is because I don't have much experience in rocky and rooted single tracks. But you can kind of have a general idea. This is a little bit more straightforward, not as much tight, really tall turns as well like the previous single track I showed you guys. So overall, yes, the DRZ400 on 1538 gearing can do single track, but you will definitely be clutching a lot more. And overall, its weakness seems to be the whoops and tight close turns, but definitely doable. Anyhow, if you guys like this video, go ahead and subscribe to watch a new rider grow. Eventually I will be putting the DRZ400 to its test on single track once I get more experience off of them. Yeah, fine, fine little little fun jump in there. <laughs> that was a little fun jump. <laughs> Nothing crazy, but 